So it was different. I tried to make every single project different from the last. You know, it was an expert at doing it who I kind of mimic him. It's pop. Every single pop project, me against the world is not going to sound like fucking uh, All uh, Lives on me. me. That's not going like to like sound like Mac Abelli. Not going to sound like all yeah. of them. When you set out to do a project, you really got to kind of do your homework and just like, okay, if I want to do a... On, like with Sip Drink music, right. just with the name Sip Drink music, right. okay, it gotta be right. Southern. Uh, yeah. I'm going through yeah. with Masachi Shades. It gotta be. Nigga had Charlie Boy on that be, bitch. Too. I didn't have Charlie Boy on it. I had uh, that was, Mo. I had that was Mo on that. Was the last song with Big Mo. God rest his soul. Damn, that's right. That was Mo. God Mo, damn. Mo and Devin. Yeah, you sure all right. Yeah, but uh, man, when, when he went, when we went to Houston and uh, got him to do the song. It's around like he died shortly after that, but we was in the yo man. He was uh, he was just sick, you know what I'm saying? He had gout real bad. Damn. So he was just, you know, was, I, I hated seeing him all like that, you know. Man, yeah. R.I.P. Big Mo, man. Yeah, for sure. And we was know. just bumping the one with. We was in there bar, <laughs> man, man, shit. We was in that bitch. Man, yeah. that nigga had the club on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah he sure did. And I was at the club one. Let me use some nigga know what the man. <laughs> The whole city know when they came first and got put on to go take over the world, man. <laughs> but uh, but but it was a it was a feel goodness to that Houston era music. Right, that was right, like, right, right. It was a uh, like for, but before the niggas, everybody else was too serious, kind of. Right. Like right. either like the West Coast was super duper gangster, right, which I right. love that shit. That's what really turned me the fuck right. out. And then um. Uh, and then the South was gangster too, but then you know, kind of more Atlanta was more lyrical, and they kind of shared that with the East Coast. But that Houston era was a, it was just it was, it was, a, it was a riding, a, yeah, dude. man. That fat pet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, you can tell they were influenced by like a, a lot of the uh, '80s um, yeah. uh, R&B bands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially Pimp. Cause yeah, he had I, when I listened yeah. to his catalog and I heard a lot of his samples. I would hear a lot of fat back bands and all yeah, that stuff. So I'd be like, yeah. okay, yeah. A lot of eyes. Yeah, yeah. eyes. They, you know, bring, uh, uh, what's that? What's the, um, Hayes, uh, Hayes, the dark skin bald head. Oh, uh, uh, Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's like, so, I said, you you got, you you know what I'm saying? What's the name? Say, what, who, uh, I think it was uh, Money on her. He was talking about you, you like the parliament. You know what I'm saying? You like parliament. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, like that's a compliment. I could take that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know you got that. You you can. You know. Oh what I'm man, saying? The, the the there's no powers that be in Dallas. It ain't no these certain run niggas run the whole city. It's right. always kind of just been a free for all. Right. But the kind of core niggas who've been doing music for a long time in the city. You know, like I say, everybody fighting to get to the top. So you know, niggas was holding their nuts. Right. I ain't never been a hold on my nuts nigga. Like if I'm just, I, I, you know, I'm just a good hearted nigga at the end of the day. I'm gonna try to put you on if I can put you on. Right. Like, been a lot of niggas try to block some shit and do some little right. slick shit like that. But old me used to instantly get the bombing on their ass. Right. We're talking right. talk about you in the record, off the record, <laughs> everything. You know? Now I'm like, <laughs> and niggas still doing all that shit, but <clears> niggas <throat> still just be like, all right. So was you ever with Holly Hills Records? Uh, I, honestly, yeah, man, I started out, man, before I got with Eternal Life, I was with Dank, uh, okay. with HHP Records, right. shout out to Big Dank, yeah, uh, Low Mac. Dank. Yeah. Uh, him and Low Mac were uh, a hell of an influence um, early on this shit, because, like I say, before them, a nigga, man, I'm telling nigga was like, that gangster shit just... Right. It was just something about the gangster rap era yeah. that just turned me out, it was just too real, bro, then right. that shit was happening for real. Right. So, that era turned me out, but when I got over there with them niggas, they kind of was on some, uh, some. Uh, they was on the gangster shit, but they was on some player shit. Right. So they kind of, Lomac and Dank and all them kind of implemented, implemented the uh, kind of more player. So I kind of still just added that as a dimension. To right. That shit, to, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Add the flavor to that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that was, I, I mean, I used to listen to some of that Dank shit, you know what I'm saying? And that Lomac yeah, shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Man, they was right there with them doing their thing, right. man. They could have easily been, uh, he could have easily been Doc or anybody because right. they right. was right there. Right. Motherfucking Shamrock doing their motherfucking yeah. thing, yeah. man, right down the street. Yeah, man. It's, it's like, so what <laughs> made, okay, so what made you go over to Eternal Life? What was, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
Man, my partner Worm, man, he was okay. out the cliff, you know, Velt nigga, you know, shot out Big Worm, he was okay. doing his thing, man, and he, um, he was just, you know, he was, uh, he was wanting to put it together, you know, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was a big roster at a, uh, at a. Uh, uh, HHP, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I was just a nigga that was wanting it right then, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, Still right. my niggas, but man, just decided to go over there with uh, with Worm, and you know, he had a vision we was trying to do. So we was the first ones had them rap vans and all that kind of shit, man. Ton of light van, man. It was, yeah, it was yeah, some good yeah, 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 yeah. And y'all then, y'all uh, y'all and then uh, the realest, you know, he was a partner of Worms, and he was on Death Row. Death Row. So we were back and forth. To Cali, fucking with Death Row. So you, man. so I ain't know you were fucking with the Rizzies, though. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga, man. To yeah. this day, that's still my nigga, man. Okay, yeah, okay. Man. You and know, he, a lot of people still, in the city don't even really know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hustling yeah. out of Grand Marquis yeah. Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.